Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. And in today's video we're doing a what if Naruto no 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 what if Minato spirit trained Naruto? So this is basically what if Naruto um and Minato uh, my other series. What was it called again? I low-key make a lot of what if videos that I don't post. It's actually kinda hard to keep track of them all. Uh what if Naruto's like Minato? This is basically that in a sense. <clears throat> so then wait a way gang we okay so let's get into the what if all right so now um let's um let's go to minato <clears throat> now minato has been approached by the shinigami who has given minato the chance to train his son because uh even the shinigami can have um knows um has sympathy on baby on jinchurikis but baby jinchurikis um he knows that their village won't treat him right along with him knowing about the eye of the moon plan and everything he would decide to let me allow me to train his son for years, for some years, and would then, you know, sit, allow his um, Minato to transfer the other half of the Kaibi into Naruto when that training is complete. So Minato obviously accepted, and with him doing a um the Reaper um the Reaper or the Shinigami doing a version of the Reaper uh, not the Reaper Death, so the Edo Tensei. So, um, uh, so that Minato's soul is, it's a version where he can bring back the people whose soul is stuck in his stomach. Now, um, the Kaiubi is sealed within Minato, so doing this will also do that. But since there's no, um, sacrifice, it's just he's bringing out his spirit for a while. As, um, all he has to do is tether Minato to something. And eventually he will tether him to Naruto. Now um, he would tell Minato that he um when at the age of four, as he um he has from the age of four to the age of fourteen to train Naruto to be probably as if not as strong or probably stronger than him. He tells he tell him that Naruto would have a lot of, with him getting the, with the other half being inside of Minato, it would also still boost Naruto chuck reserves as if he was to have the full Kyubi. Saying that since Naruto's a child, his reserves will be monsters when he's fully grown. and Or when he's at the end of their tra training when Minato trans over, transfers over the other half. But the other half's chakra reserve expansion isn't as fast as normal. So Minato would take this. And this is where we're going to time skip from the age of... Uh, actually, I don't Naruto's, I'm going to say zero, to the age of four. Now, this is a couple months after Naruto's been kicked out of the orphanage. Naruto's currently living on the street because Hughes has yet to find out. <clears throat> now, you say Hughes has a, um, does it, at the time Naruto's kicked out, Hughes didn't have an Ambu there. And the uh, people in the orphanage knew that there were Ambu watching Naruto. So, um, but the day that he disappeared, they were not there. So what they would decide to, since one of the former uh, firm, former orphanage caretakers used to be a Joni who knows the Shadow Clone Jutsu and a transformation Jutsu, she would uh, they would she would they would have her transfer transform into a baby Naruto or a four year old Naruto. Now Naruto's hair has grown considerably, looking more like Minato's. Or even they all decided to not give Naruto haircuts either. So, you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Now, Minato has finally had enough of this and decides to cry, um, is crying out for his son. Trying to get his son to notice him or come to him. So now, anyway, so now um, Naruto is hearing his voice and is asking who's there. As you know, he is then pulled into a, um, I'm going to say the place where him and Minato talk to in the little, the little place that remind, kind of reminds me of the time chamber. 
But it's actually were not so this is a spoiler. If not this not I'll explain it later. So after pulling Naruto into it, Minato would you know um Naruto would know that this is the fourth Okage. He's seen the pictures of the fourth Okage. He's always on the monument head of the fourth Okage. He's idolized the fourth Okage. He knows about the fourth Okage. He knows about his Jutsus. Well, he knows the names of his Jutsus, the Horatian or Sengon, things that made him famous. <clears throat> so, you know, it was a shock to see the fourth Okage wherever he, they are. As Naruto asks, is he dead? Which is Minato would run up to Naruto and hug him. Which was shocking Naruto. Naruto would then ask, why is he hugging him? As Minato says, can a father not hug his own son? Which will shock Naruto, but it will bring out a rage in him. As Naruto punches Minato straight in the face, because Minato had picked him up and hugged him. So, you know, Naruto's um, working on these zones that Minato's gripping just stacked and just punched him. No, it's caused Minato to, some, um, to little, loosen his grip a little bit, but you know, Naruto's a child, so. But he, it was fueled by rage. So Naruto, while at the age of four, and fueled by rage, hit, at, hit like he was eight. Starting his shinobi training at the age of eight. So, you know, Minato asked, why did he hit him? Naruto did yell at him for abandoning him, saying, how could he just die and leave him here all alone, where the villagers will treat him terrible? How come they don't know about him being the fourth son? Minato would explain to Naruto that, since he is his son, that people will be coming after him, and he doesn't want his son dying due to his enemies wanting revenge on him. Now, Naruto would eventually understand this because um, he would then say, is that why the third Okage told me that he never knew, which Minato would not. Naruto would then ask, does he at least know, can he at least know his mother's name? So Minato will change the mindscape a little bit, showing Naruto memories of his uh, mother. So Naruto will be shocked to see that his mother is, is very pretty, a very beautiful woman. And we'll see um, how dangerous she is also. Because Minato told Naruto that if he was to ever meet his mother, which he said, told him that he would in the future, to run. Don't And if he can't run, don't anger her. So Naruto, you know, nodded because he's he seen the memories and everything. Minato would then tell Naruto that from now on, he's going to be training him. Naruto would ask, and, and what exactly? As Minato says, and all of the jutsus that he knows. And he would then tell Naruto that he has something to tell him. Naruto would ask what, what was it exactly that he needed. Naruto. I, I don't know how to say this, but I'm so very sorry, son. S sorry for what? The night the Caillou be attacked. <clears throat> Instead of killing it like everyone said I did. I sealed it away inside my own son. Exactly. I'm your... No, not I'm your son. I still did inside of you, Naruto, in hopes that you will be able to use the Kaiju's power to take down the man who attacked Konoha and to bring peace to the world. I hope that you will one day conquer it. He says that's the reason why the villagers hate him, because of that, because he holds the Kaiju. And this will honestly pissed off Naruto, as he would then say, why him? As he would begin to cry... You know, getting in a fetus position or something. I can't really remember what that looks like. Rocket. So, Minato says it's because he had a great deal of trust in Naruto. This will lighten up Naruto, knowing that his dad and the fourth Okage, which is also his dad, has put a whole lot of trust in him for him to master the Kaiyubi. So, Naruto will tell Minato that he's going to do it for him and for his mother so that he, um, to be strong so that they can be proud of him. Minato will tell Naruto that he not only needs to be strong for his, for them, but he needs to be strong so that he can protect those who, which are precious to him. So now, you know, Naruto, Naruto understands that he has to protect his precious people. As he says that he will never go back on his word. As Naruto has now just discovered his ninja way. As he says, that's my ninja, my ninja way. Minato says, Naruto. Minato says, yes. You're not a ninja yet. Oh, right, right. Sorry, Dad. 
But until, you know, rub the back of his head like he does and give that goofy grin. So Minato will then tell Naruto that his training begins tomorrow. Inside of the monastery, because Naruto will see Minato going uh, make 50 shadow clones. As Minato, all of Minato's clones are going through different hand signs and in his um or touching the basically the end of the walls. Now, while it may seem like it's endless, Minato being a spirit, like a true spirit, because this is basically a spirit room or something like that. Only like it's it's she didn't got me made this so that Minato could Minato could train Naruto. They will all finish the hand signs of the jutsu that the Shinigami told Minato. Because while waiting for um four years, um the Shinigami had popped in and gave Minato a scroll for this specific training. So now Minato uh fin finished the um and all of his clones finished the hand signs and touched the walls and the floors. As a sibling array would appear, as Naruto would ask what did he do. He says this is one of the things that he he will teach him. But he says that he made the room so that um, he put a seal into the room so that he could train Naruto in here along with physical training and everything. Along with creating a mental leak. Telling Naruto that while in here, his chakra is endless. So that he won't really be using any techniques out. Um, so that he won't really be using any. And in here, he will be able to learn any technique, any taijutsu stance, any shuriken throwing. Because of the special, the special way these seals are made. Because you, as far as I know, you, <laughs> from other, what is fanfics? Yes, I do read fanfics. Things that you, um, they all say that you can do almost anything with a, with the seal. Now this is human word. This is human Fuenjutsu. But now Minato is using the Shinigami's version of Fuenjutsu, which allows him to do basically anything. How do you think the Shinigami got so powerful? Been, been saying this world, the Shinigami is a title passed down from Father Shinigami to um, Son Shinigami. <clears throat> it's like they're a different kami who actually fathered the son. Um, who actually fathered. Um, whenever there's always a female kami and always a male Shinigami, due to the fact is that um, kami produces twins, one being a Shinigami and one being a new kami for the, their parents to eventually um, one parent to take. The other and raise them. It's it's kind of hard to explain. Be any anyway. Minato would tell Naruto that in here, Naruto can do anything and learn any of the jutsus that he wants to teach him. And that he will know it in the real world and will be able to perform it if he masters it in here. But telling him that time kind of works differently in here. As you can see, this is what I mean by the time chamber. So Naruto would nod. And Minato would um tell Naruto. That he's going to guide him to his mansion for him to sleep in for the um for the rest of the for the rest of the training, and after that, telling Naruto that it's rightfully his house so that he will give it to him. So eventually, Minato will go on to guide Naruto there and teach him how to disable the seals, which is by um uh since you know Naruto couldn't mold chakra, Minato forced his chakra through Naruto's hands into the seal, recognizing Minato's chakra. Now. Yes, this is one of the things Minato can do. So now, after Naruto, Naruto would, um, would enter the house and would be marveled at this, he would see the pictures of all his parents. As Minato says that in the morning, he's going to um, have him wear some of his old clothes, and will also <clears throat> tell him where his um, where Naruto's room was supposed to be. Saying that, um... Part of the room has like a nursery, like a baby crib, and the other has like a um a bed for Naruto whenever he grow up. Naruto will go into the room and see that it's painted orange, orange with foxes and everywhere. So Naruto will think that it's ironic that um, his mother, a woman who kind of somewhat hated the fox, painted her son's room with the fox. But this is due to Naruto, kind of. I'll explain that more in the next part. So this is actually where I'm going to end off the what if now. This is one of my shorter what if series. Like I'm trying to do, trying to get all my what if series down in time. I hope you guys have a good day and peace and goodbye.